so here's the main bedroom. That's new, what they did to the windows. That's a cute little detail that it has. I don't know, what, what I feel like, very New Mexico too. Yes, that's what right? I'm thinking about, New Mexico. Yeah. The wall, especially this one right uh -huh. here. Oh, this is the office. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. So why I'm gonna take a nap because I don't know. We got way out. So guys, we are at the Denver Zoo. We're gonna ask him, can you let, let us in? And the line is long. It's not that long, y'all. We can wait. Now, how they know these lions ain't gonna jump over this fence? Roar. Oh. Oh, I see the thing. No, inside. Look at the line, y'all. Every day when you're walking down the street I'm singing your own song Nah, lions are cute and cuddly Cute and cuddly boys, cute and cuddly Cute and cuddly boys They don't look like the other penguins it's an it's a African zoo. Oh, because the other one's got to stay cold, ain't it? They're tiny. How they got the donkeys and the zebras in the same thing? I think some of them are. It's like it's hurting him to walk. I want to eat it. That don't look like a catfish. I'm going to eat it. It's a catfish. Oh, that's a different type of catfish. That's definitely a catfish. Those were considered unclean in the Bible, Old Testament. You don't see it right there? The one that's next to the... Oh. By the stingray. Oh. <laughs> and it's because they eat at the bottom things of the earth. They were expensive. Iron clean, yeah. I wonder what they did. <laughs> Erica said he was in emo. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, he stopped. Oh, he like you, Janelle. And he like my camera. So I entered to win a car. And I'm going to win it. I got faith. Walk by faith, I got that Jesus groove. Yeah, my friends entering. Tamaya might win. I feel like Tamaya gonna win. I would say. A portion of our admission proceeds that go to our field conservation department here at Denver Zoo. Hey, baby. Conservation Look at all the sassy. Including with ground shows. They done cut your little skulls, things, whatever they call it. And definitely be sure to check Focus. Amen. Coming up first on the right-hand side will be Primate Panorama, home to our eight monkeys and lemurs. Here at Primate Panorama, we celebrated the birth of a golden lion's amber back in June. You can see this baby monkey if you head up into the Emerald Forest in the Primate Panorama. Oh, we need to see that. Boy, there. Hold on, girl. Time is on. Time is on, day. So, y'all. Our last night in Denver, Colorado. 
the girls right there and the girl right there. I mean, the girl right there and the girl right there. They leave in the morning. So, for me and Tamaya, we staying back for like a couple more hours. Right now, we're getting some weenies. I was hungry and I was like, y'all want some to eat. So, we here now, y'all. We're gonna let y'all know how to do it. Why is that No, because <laughs> you like sauce. I know you like sauce. Real quick. Who you gonna come for, sweetie? I'm talking to you. Well, I know you like sauce, Erica. How you know I like sauce? I noticed it. You like sauce. How? how? I noticed. How? Cause Wait, what? When you was eating it yesterday, you was eating it by yourself. I was like, no. she actually likes sauce. Not very bad. Do you want your name on it? Yeah. Oh my God, we'll just go home, baby. Get out. I'm just kidding. So it let me show y'all my food. And you were too late. I asked for extra fries because they were trying to size me with the fries. I hope y'all got no more quality, Jim. No. 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 Hmm? Man, I didn't realize these are fries. I play with people. Come on now. They drop? Yeah. They're probably good though. Everybody feels except different. Yeah. Girl, put some on the leaves. Over. Pour it over, over there. If you like the sauce. I got it. How you know I like the sauce? I had to taste it. I said, if you like the sauce. Yeah. Tyrone, these balls be tripping. <laughs> I said, if you like the sauce, so don't try me. You're <laughs> just talking about. <laughs> like I will. <laughs> For real. You're aggravating, bro. Huh? Who's this? Oh, what? Lemonade. Careful. That's my watermelon thing. <laughs> the one you mean like? Where that came from? I did like it. The chocolate place. Oh. Uh -huh. Girl, you still got that? <laughs> That's sweet. Y'all look at my stuff. Mm -hmm. What happened? The buffalo sauce wasted. Oh, what's it I'm screaming. Eric. <laughs> Is it good? Turn on the TV, Janelle. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. This is spicy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or I don't know if it's because of the All right, so let me just pick out the camera and show y'all my food. Let me turn it this way. You can just put all of it all on the table and take pictures. We got food for today and tomorrow. Well, today, whatever. Yeah, because your today is almost over with. You gotta go to the airport. This is why they need men, y'all. They don't know how to open that water bottle. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, this is my food. They gave me two plates by accident. I told the lady, because you know I'm a Christian man. <laughs> I told the lady, I was like, you gave me extra, but she wasn't understanding what I was saying. She thought she gave me two extra fries without telling her. And she was like, it's fine, it's fine. So, I got two extra. Play. I was supposed to give one to Mikey. Huh? I was wondering why I got an extra plate. The man at 7 Eleven. Mike, I won't bad you, yo. I'm going to the Hi, guys. Turn on the one to next to me. My friend said, if you send her money, her cash shop is fix it, Lord. <coughs> Any underscores? Ooh. Break me off. I want 50. I want 50%. I want 50%. Hmm? <laughs> That's okay. You want to do that. Oh, well, I'm not telling to break you up. You missed your blessing. <laughs> mm -hmm. You could have got money right Ain't now. it? It's free money. All it's doing going on YouTube. You ain't wait for it. <laughs> nah, but y'all still send my free money. It was, even if she don't see me nothing, it's straight. <laughs> blessings. <laughs> blessings. <laughs> We're supposed to be doing the most. You still got your, hop, your mango sauce? For me? They didn't give me none. Did you even want it? For me? No, that was my mango sauce. Maya. No, that was mine. So what mine? I paid for some. Me too. Well, I paid for it. Wasn't it? I think I paid for some. You wanted some money? Yeah. Okay. I need another so, one. But of then why you didn't get it? It's on the table. No, but why you didn't get it? That's how I feel. Bro, I want my sauce. <laughs> if you want Amber's what y'all want to watch? Let's watch Sister Sister. <laughs> sister Sister. Because you said all the cash without it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm really gonna take it. Huh? Come on, I'm tired. I'm a tired. I love it. 
Why are you gonna say that to me? That's so fake. Yeah, you need like every time. That's why I switch places with her because I don't want to feel like I don't want to sit next to her, but I still don't want to sit. Make her feel like that. Probably. Like I still don't want to. For real, she gotta learn. What 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 that um oh, man said? You gotta learn. You can't get your way every time. Mm -hmm. Who said that? It's mad. I don't know if y'all see that video. Yeah, I sure do. This man, the lady asked, hey, can my daughter sit next to the window on the airplane? She likes to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was like, well, this is a valuable lesson for your daughter. Let me move this so they can hear you talk. Well, she is, y'all. Did he say that on y'all airplane? No, no, it was a, it was a video. Oh, I thought that was on y'all airplane. No. I was going to say, man. <laughs> As I press return to base and have it come right here. Mango wings. Nari down! So they're like, I want to. Nah, she don't want to stay. <laughs> she said I want to leave this early. <laughs> it's cold. It is. Bye, Kamaya. Nelly. You hug. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye, y'all. Wait, give me a hug first. You said I'm by later. <laughs> Hi y'all. Yeah, it's the old Lauderdale. All right, so. Lauderdale. Girl, it's See y'all in Lauderdale, period. Oh, yeah. That's the right attitude. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Oh, that's great. Father. Lord, let us all have a safe flight. Let them get home to you, Lord. We're all ready. I just miss you, God. Use them in everything you do, God. And do some favor on the plane as well, God. Mm -hmm. Jesus and Amen. Amen. Whew. Hallelujah. See y'all later. I love y'all. Where else should we go to that? Uh oh. Why are you calling a stick in the Ow. Car? To forfeit things for myself. When I was promised, understand God has not forgotten you. When time gets tough, we're gonna church this morning. All right, guys. So we're in Walmart now. About to put sticky notes down and evangelize through sticky notes, so technically, yeah. So what are we doing? Stay tuned. Yeah, anything you wanna to say to the camera? Um, thank you guys for watching. Go shop, go gore. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't quote my hand right now. <laughs> you worshiping idols, worship Jesus in spirit and in truth. So, we did the Walmart. So guys, we went to Walmart. We put up the sticky notes. It was amazing. And I met this woman. Her back was crunched over. And I was trying to be bold and courageous because I was singing the Maverick City song. I saw it with my own eyes. So I wanted to see miracle signs and wonders with my own eyes. So I built up the courage and boldness to ask her, can I pray for you? And does your back hurt? She said, yes. I said, can I pray for you? And she was like, sure. And I was like, we're gonna believe the Lord can heal you. And I prayed once and she was happy. And I was like, did the pain go away? She was like, a little bit. I said, well, we're gonna pray again. Then we prayed again. And then she just could, was crying, was like, that could be the pain leaving. She's happy, I prayed. She said, she's like, my hands magical. I was like, girl, I, that's Jesus. Like, that's all God. And she was like, but we have to demonstrate our gifts 
the things God has given us, we have to demonstrate that with people. And that really encouraged me because I'm not gonna be scared no more. Well, I don't be scared anyways, y'all. I'll really be evangelizing, but lately I ain't been evangelizing like I'm used to, so that's another thing. But basically what I'm trying to say is for the church, all of us, look at her in the background, whoever she is, you got a feature on my video. But as a church, we ought to demonstrate the things God has blessed us with. So that's an encouragement for somebody who's watching this. Go ahead, tell the story, Tamaya. <laughs> Guys, got the camera. It's so funny. Wait, it's hot right now. Yeah. <laughs> so tell them what happened. That breaks in mysterious ways because yes. literally, <laughs> literally we went. Okay. I said God works in mysterious ways because we were hungry. I was hungry. <laughs> and at first I didn't know where to eat, but I was like, I really want Popeye's fries. And we were like, there's a small center that also has Charlie's, which is something else that I was like, What's your phone? okay, let me explain. Cause I suck it. <laughs> I was hungry and I was like, I don't know what to eat, but I wanted fries, right? And I was like, oh, Popeye's has good fries. But at the same time, I was like, I want a sandwich. I want Charlie's, right? So Tyrone looks it up and we find one that has a Charlie's in the mall. So we see the mall and I was like, I don't know why, this, it came to me, I'm like, I wonder if they ever would put a Popeyes in a mall. And then he parks and, we got, and he parks and he's like, there's a Popeyes right there. And I was like, wow. So we, we went in this, the, the mall and as we were standing in line, Tyrone overheard um, these two people talking about Jesus <laughs> and the Holy Spirit. And I guess there was two people that were evangelizing within the mall and talking to them. So God placed us in the line, I guess for confirmation and also just encouragement um, in front of them. And God is amazing. He works in mysterious ways because, wow, he's sending out his messengers. So y'all, if God is pulling on your heart, follow him. But not only that, the, the, the amazing part of the story is there was like a lady with a gray dog. Well, she, they said a lady with a dog. And I was like, the gray dog? Because I seen the lady with a gray dog when I walked in. And when I seen that, um, I said, let me go find this lady because I'm going to go find another evangelist or somebody who's evangelizing, basically. Because I was just hearing the scripture, you know, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Because I was talk, literally talking about how I was in the store and I prayed for this lady and she said, we need to start demonstrating our gifts. So, boom. I find them and they're speaking to another group of people and when they were speaking to the people I was like listen I just I told them the story of what just happened at the Popeyes line and when I told them we had this great conversation it was amazing oh my gosh two believers we had a great conversation um, I talked to them I told them while we were here in Colorado and they said that uh, she was being led by the Spirit of God because the Spirit is leading her here so they were excited um, they actually are from they live in Texas and I told them I live in Texas as well so now they invited us to this church like event that happens on the first Saturday every month and then they also told us about the church they said we need to come down there we we can um stay overnight they have a house and everything it's just like amazing when you meet other people in the kingdom and I'm just edified right now because you know God my pastor just prayed the other day that God sent more laborers among us and to just see that when I'm out evangelizing or I'm happy because I just spread the gospel or shared the message of the gospel, it's other people out there who just literally did the same exact thing and we could connect. So coming here to Colorado was definitely like by God, orchestrated by God because that that relationship we just formed with these people who we did not know is amazing. And now we're thinking about wow we're gonna see each other in heaven it's gonna be a great story how god just connected us so i'm just edified um even how they just uh openly said that they will share the home that they have with us um she mentioned how she even like went out and evangelizes and she helped thousands of people because she said she's been doing this for five years and two day two hours out the day she will dedicate her time to evangelizing now i want y'all to know somebody who does that has a heart for the lord because i just 
doing it everywhere I go because ministry is everywhere. But to dedicate two hours of your time to specifically evangelizing and being intentional about that, that is amazing. So I just wanted to share that with y'all because God works in ways that we can't even fully understand because we ended up at Popeyes and being a confirmation to these two kids. Um, and we didn't even know the, the other two ladies from a, the not the two ladies, but the lady and the man from a can of paint. And they in there evangelizing guys. The man said he pushing 70, don't even look like it. And I tell you no lie, they're in there evangelizing because all these kids in there, I said, wow, this is it's just like a zeal at that burns inside of you when you see stuff like that. So I just wanted to share that testimony with y'all. So this is the end of the trip. Guys, the airport is so busy. <laughs> this is one of the biggest airports. I think it is the biggest airport in America. Wow. So guys, we're closing out our vlog to say it was a great trip. One thing I believe is that when you with other believers, it's li literally almost impossible that God is not going to move. And what I mean by that is you're going to have some type of encounter and you're going to see how God works. And it never fails. Every time I'm with other people who love God and are saved, it's always some type of encounter. We can be out and we just see a move of God. So I say that because we just had another one at the airport. <laughs> God is like so intentional. Like everything literally happens for a reason. Like it's crazy. Like literally, this girl, like I saw her walk past, and she sat like right behind Tyrone. And Tyrone, because she sat right behind him, she looked over. Like he looked over and saw her book. And it's like God is like so intentional. Bro. Period. Period. And that's it, guys. Thank y'all. It's been real. We. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel.